Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm Jamie Jo and I'm so excited to be back with my second video of the week today. Today I'm sharing my routine from straight to curly. This is going to be what I use in the shower and how I style my hair with very intricate details to make sure that I am reducing frizz and heat damage after putting heat tools on my hair. So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing all the products that I used in the shower, all the products I used for styling, and exactly what I did to rejuvenate my curls after heat styling. I missed you all so much, and if you don't know, I am back for two videos a week at the moment, and I have a little life update video you can watch to see where I've been and my goals for the new year for 2023. Hey guys, let's hop into today's tutorial. Okay guys, so this is my second wash after straightening my hair. I didn't have an opportunity to film my first wash, but I wanted to film this one and show you the exact routine that I used last. Last time that really helped to minimize any sort of damage after straightening my hair my hair looked super bouncy my curls were really nicely intact there wasn't too much frizz they were very bouncy and had a lot of spring so this was a really good routine to use after straightening my hair that kept my curls really fresh alive and really revived them super super nicely so to start guys I used some Olaplex after straightening your hair it's a really good idea to use some sort of repairing mask or a bond repairer this is going to just help repair those proteins and fibers and all the hair sciencey stuff for your curls. So I started off with the Olaplex number no. four, which is a bond maintenance. Oh no, sorry. I started off with the Olaplex number no. three, which is a hair perfecter. This is something you use pre-shampoo. You can apply a generous amount on the scalp and all the way to the ends and leave this in your damp hair for around 10 minutes and then rinse it out. So that's what I did before my shower. And then in my shower, I followed up with Olaplex number um, four. So this is three, then Olaplex number four, which is their Bond Maintenance Shampoo. It's a really good um, shampoo. I just use it as a standard shampoo routine. I have Olaplex number five, so I used my Frizz Ease Dream Curls Sulfate Free Shampoo. No conditioner from John Frieda. I love this one. It's almost out. It's a really, really good option. Makes my curls super hydrated, bouncy, and gives them a lot of spring. So that's exactly what I used in the shower. The only products I used on my hair. Okay, guys, let's get on to styling. Make sure, again, your hair is nice and damp. Okay, let's go, guys. As you can see, even out of the shower without any styling products, my curls are so juicy and healthy and they're springing up a lot, which is a really great sign that what you've used in the shower are great and working well and doing your curls lots of favors. I am trying to film a TikTok at the same time so that I can like split up and use this content for both platforms. So I'm like trying to bounce between both. Let's see how we go. Now I'm just going to give it a brush with the Denman brush, guys. I stopped using the Denman brush for a little bit because I felt like it was dragging out my curls. But if you use it the right way, it won't. It just depends on the day. Sometimes I use it and sometimes I don't. Today I will be using it because it's been in a towel. It's created a little bit of knots that we just need to undo. So we have a fresh kind of canvas to style on. I just like to be quick. I don't want to like drag my curls out. But at the same time, we do just need to separate them and remove any knots. I like to jiggle my curls so they naturally spring up. See, we're not forcing any texture. We're just separating the curls. Just to preface, you guys know me. My routines aren't for perfectly styled, defined curls. I like really separated big voluminous curls which means sometimes you may compromise and have a little bit of frizz but this is for big voluminous separated curls that are off the scalp have volume at the roots and look really fluffy and just like big so to continue on that train i'm going to be using olaplex number six which is a bond smoother you can use this when you're styling your curls all it says is apply a very small amount to damp or dry hair concentrating product on your mid length to ends and can comb through if desired this strengthens nourishes and moisturizes speeds up drying time and reduces frizz and flyaways for up to 72 hours you're in there let's begin here prayer hands guys is like this and it's just going to ensure that you can apply the product along your entire hair. Um, I'm applying a little bit on the root, not not. And then I'm going to smooth it all the way down to the end. This also I feel like really does help to reduce frizz later. But then you need to scrunch because you're kind of flattening out your curls. So I'm going to focus a little extra on a few sections. Do you guys hear that juicy sound? That means we're doing the right thing. That scrunch is looking good, guys. I'm just going to go quickly over the front section with the Demon brush to redefine it. 
See how it naturally springs up? We're looking so good, guys. That's really the hardest part of today's styling routine, if I'm being honest. The rest is quite simple because we're just going to be scrunching in product. We have about three more products, which is a little bit more excessive compared to my usual routines, but that is simply because, obviously, we put heat on it. I want to try and give it as much moisture and attention as possible. So that's why I have a little few extra steps today in this routine. I'm going to be using one of my OGs. If you guys have been around for long, you know I love this product. It's from Alterna. It's the Caviar anti aging bond repairing mousse it's quite expensive but i use it it's just a staple it's a staple in my hair wardrobe i use it very often and i always come back to it it is repairing moisturizing gives me a lot of volume but it doesn't make my hair sticky and crunchy at all it's more like a cream a creamy mousse i'll show you the texture I'm not going overboard with how much I'm using of this because we've already put bond repairing in our hair and also it can be a little bit heavy. So this is enough for my entire head. Well, okay. For our third product, we're going to be using a gel. This is necessary if you want hold and more volume and this will help to add shine and reduce frizz as well um, this is just going to give really good hold to your curls and make them last over the next few days if i didn't do this and add this product my hair would probably be a little bit too soft and it wouldn't last me as long so i want hold and i want definition and i want my curls to last me as long as possible so this is uh, an important step i'm using the curly girl movement curl defining gel this is kind of like a milky gel. It kind of reminds me of flaxseed gel. I am going to diffuse my curls just because I'm filming, but if you can, air drying is really the best option after straightening or putting heat on your hair because it's just going to reduce more heat being added to your curls. If you are air if you are diffusing, make sure you do it on cool air for as long as possible, and then you can put it on a little, little, little bit of heat, and it should be fine. Just don't add any excess heat that is unnecessary for your hair. Curls are dry, guys. They look really, really nice, but now I need to scrunch them out. I have a little bit of a cast, and I want to get some volume, so I like to fluff out my curls. I'm going to be using a tiny drop of oil. I don't like to go overboard with oil because it can weigh your hair down if you have finer textured curls, but I'm going to use the Olaplex number no. 7 bonding oil few dots on my hand and then I'm going to use that to scrunch out my curls so it can reduce frizz. One, three. Flip over and I'm going to do this at my roots to get the curls all separated. My hair is looking so great guys this is really good for my second wash after straightening my hair sometimes it takes a few washes to really see your natural curl pattern come back through but i'm very happy with how this routine went and it's going to really maximize your chances at repairing your hair if there's any damage getting that spring and bounce back keeping your curls nice and just juicy bouncy voluminous and shiny we love health Thank you for watching today's video i hope you enjoyed it i love you all so much and i'll be back with two videos weekly i'm so excited to be back on youtube sharing videos often and just engaging with you guys i love you and i miss you so much and if you missed my last video it's a life update as to where i've been for the last six months so i am back for good now i love you all and i'll see you back for my next video bye beautiful huh see, see? <laughs> you got the mirror there yeah and the lipstick. And then I just roll around for everything. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. I don't know